Hey everybody, Justin from FiddleSnobs.com. Brock Spinley, say hello. Hello. But everyone, another currency review video. Folks have been really digging our videos wherever you enjoy the content from the Frittle Snobs. Please make sure that you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. It definitely helps us out. Also, if you like what you see in here, please make sure that you check out the Frittle Snobs podcast. Everything you need to know is at FiddleSnobs.com. And if you'd like to support us, you can do so by going to support.frittlesnobs.com and you can support us for as little as 99 cents per month. Yes. So let's go ahead and get into it, folks. Uh, this particular review is for the 1912 500 ruble Russian banknote uh, featuring Tsar Peter the First or Peter the Great. Um, folks, as we describe this banknote, we're going to be comparing it in some cases to the Catherine the Second 100 ruble 1910 banknote. Uh, so please check out that review if you haven't done so already. I think they'll provide more context. Yes. That's fair. Okay, folks. So uh, this particular note, I, I wanted to, to note first off uh, from the front side of the note, does not feature uh, the czar on the front side of the note. Actually, on the bank notes for this period, the czar, czarina, etc., is featured on the back side of the bank note, or the reverse, not the obverse side of the bank note. So um, first thing you're going to see in this bank note, folks, is it is very very large. Now, in comparison to the Catherine II 100 ruble banknote, uh, Christina, you're comparing the two. I would say, how much larger would you say it is? I would say it's probably a good 20% larger. It actually takes up, a, like, if you put it in an actual 8.5 by 11 <clears throat> page holder, mm -hmm. it takes up the full 11 inches and approximately 6 inches, 5.5 to 6 inches of the actual height. Okay, yeah, I got it. So, um, on this, folks, uh, I just wanted to point out, uh, we're actually storing these banknotes in, to Christina's point, actual sheet protectors. We don't have carriers large enough no. <laughs> uh, for, for these particular banknotes. And we did pick up this banknote, folks, uh, very affordably. Uh, you can still catch these banknotes uh, relatively affordably online. Just watch uh, your, your pricing a little bit, buyer beware. We've seen the, the note uh, range from anywhere between 15 or so dollars U.S., depending on condition, all up to $60 plus U.S. Yes. So just be careful. Um, also on the front side of the note, folks, uh, you'll see a very dominant Cyrillic yes. on the front side of the note. And again, like the Catherine II bank note, folks, again, check out that review. It will bring more context here. Um, it, it shows the same text in Cyrillic as the yeah. Catherine II note. And to paraphrase, uh, essentially that this note is redeemable in gold as a ticket yeah. for 500 rubles. And in addition, any counterfeiters will be sentenced to one week of hard labor. Yes. So they don't mess around, man. No. They don't mess around. So, uh, Christina, anything else on the front side of this note you want to talk about before we move to the reverse side of the note? It has a double-headed eagle on, on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. That's the Romano family crest. Yep. Yeah, with all the little family crests on the wings. Mm -hmm. And then and when you hold it up to the light, you actually see Peter the Great in the watermark on the left-hand side of the bill. Very similar to the Catherine the Great or Catherine yes. the Second watermark on the Catherine note as well. Again, folks, I cannot stress enough. Please check out that review. There will be more context involved here. Yes. Uh, the notes are related in that they are very close in their runs of the bank notes. Uh, the note itself also uh, was in circulation until 1917. Yes. And we'll talk more about Peter the First as we move to the reverse side of the note. Anything else on the obverse side? No. All right. Let's move to the reverse side. The fun of... side of the note. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the re reverse side of the note. Again, you will see here uh, Peter the First uh, featured as well. He was also the tallest czar. At somewhere between six foot seven and six foot eight. Yes. Uh, he also uh, was crowned czar, or or his coronation was at the age of ten. Yes. In the year sixteen eighty two. Yeah, and he ruled born, with his brother Ivan. Yes. Born in sixteen seventy two, died in seventeen twenty five. Yes. Fair. Yes. All right, folks. Um, again, he's also credited with modernizing Russia in terms of the navy, architecture, etc. And I do believe in Russia there are wax representations of statues of Peter. Uh, the first or a representation in wax with his actual real hair. Yeah. So interesting. All right, what else is on the, the reverse side of this note? Okay, you have his portrait, obviously, with the little sash going yes. across. Mm -hmm. He's actually in, like, metal armor yes. in the portrait. With the mustache. Yes, yes. straight across. Yes. yes. There's little cherubs holding up the 500-ruble note 